How, how long have we got? Central server banks. So we got five maps left. Okay. Hey guys, it's Vino. Welcome back to Doom 3. In the last part, there's no point in that. In, in the death chamber. Oh, armor. In the last part, we basically found out that the soul cube is rather OP, and it's basically just whoever you come across. Which basically means they can pull off whatever they want now! Cause hey, what, what's the point? You're just gonna heal yourself by the next enemy. So for example, I was like, oh look, it's uh... This guy. Chuck the thing, kills him, gives me his health. Yeah, a little bit OP. Whoa, what was that? Adrenaline shot? I look at your soul. So yeah, apparently pretty much everyone is dead. And now we're just kind of being a little bit classic about all of this. In fact, this is what Doom, well I wouldn't say is what it should have been for the long. But... Ah, punch me. As you can see, uh, Ghetto Island is completely spamming. And the more kills you get, you can basically just keep pumping when you use it. And yeah, just get tons of health. You just need to restock on armor. Whoa. Warning, security bridge in motion. Where? Oh, there it is. Although my heart's beating. A theoretical in-game heart. Oh, that is a pretty cool bridge. Where am I going? Yeah, I thought that would do that. Uh, where do I need to go? Um, Maybe not, so that they can bite me, but... I'll go to storage first. I'm gonna have to be here for a while, aren't I? They're gonna follow me, aren't they? Yeah, no, I'm already in it. What happened to this door? Oh, they're not awesome. Oh! Hey, I gotta chuck the soul key button. Almost kills that guy. Oh crap. Wow, that worked. What well, part of don't run out of ammo did you not understand? Because now you're running out of ammo. Well, I got your rocket launcher. Sick of that, I thought we have cheese cell. Yeah, I thought they would. See this guy is such a great enemy. Watch him go. Not even hit me. Dude, those guys were a big threat in friggin' Doom. In fact, by the way, the the, the fire guys, the arch vials. Don't bring guys back to life. It's because they caught some yeah, 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 helps if I got a lot of... Wow, that's a lot of ammo and stuff. Well, I look forward to having a big fight. As soon as I just auto kill him. Wow. Wow, dude, dude, I got tons of stuff. Didn't even sweat. Didn't even sweat. Damn, damn. It's insane. Oh, we got a lot of plans we're going to have, uh. Where are we going next? I guess we're going to the CPU bank. Where are we already here? Uh... Okay, we're going to the server bank. Should probably shoot these guys. Just maybe. They keep presenting imps as a threat! It's so weird! 
That's like in Super Mario Brothers, and it's like they they show like a Goomba as a boss or something. I mean the giant Goomba from Mario 64 aside, but Mario 64 DS aside, I remember he was a DS enemy. Oh, you can say you died. Oh, look, spider things. Don't care, because I can shoot. Wait, I can always shoot him. But... I'm sorry, that oh gosh. Yeah, they're basically just chucking the same guys over and over again. You know what's really bad? I actually really like the hell part. I know, it's like, oh, dude, you liked hell, duh. No, I mean, like, I liked just the way they designed the level there. It was something different. I'm still doing space stuff in here. I've just got like some different enemies half the time. I mean, like that's not gonna make it a new area. It looks the same all the time. I understand we're in the same space base, and I'm just like, dude. Dude, freaking Doom original didn't do that that much. It didn't feel like it was the same space base over and over again somehow. This game does somehow. I mean, yes, consistency is probably a good thing. What fear? Dude, I'll just save state. If I die. Dude, you get nothing. Oh, look! VAC! Or is that UAC? Probably the UAC. That's what it says here. I was about to say, oh, dude. Steam reference? Nah. No, actually, kill him. There you go. Means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. Copyrights free. Don't sing in public. And copy. Oh, oh! Pulling a kind of, not a kind of for a few parts. <laughs> he fires a BFG at you. Once he drives on you and sets you on electricity. You know what's weird? They didn't even introduce this guy, although I can still just. Soul Sphere. Rocket! Wow! I'm worried about this guy, I just fire a soul sphere, yeah, boom, I'm all good. Wow. You know it's weird? I didn't introduce that guy, I felt cheated out of that. So basically, yeah, the BFG will explode if you waste, if you hold down on all four glass. Now, how come they could give you this earlier and not tell you about it? No clue. No clue why they did that. It, it was handy to use earlier, but again, I only used it once. Because basically, as soon as after I used it, I went to hell. Wait, what? That was it? Really? Dude, that was an eight-minute map. That is not, that is not it. That is, oh, oh, I guess it is, because why would they send me backwards? Well, I guess that's good, because I can just keep going, I guess. Also, that kind of means that the game is ending soon, because... One, we had that guy, and holy crap, what is that? Oh, it's just this guy. Uh, dude, easy. Although, he does take a lot of hits. There's just one of them. Easy. Damn. It's like, oh, boom, there's another one. Oh. Teleporting, yeah. I can track. Whoa, Kekko! Whoa, Kekko! Die, Kekko! Gain security clearance. Okay, that's my objective. Whoa, crap! Let's see you there. So yeah, this is a. Oh gosh, 
This is a pretty unconventional Ooh, crap. I will say this is a pretty unconventional LP of mine just because I haven't played the game yet. And every game I've played since Emperor's New Groove. Every game since that I've played before. And for some odd reason, I think I'm more prepared for this than I was of Rayman 2, and I had played that game already. So it's kind of weird playing a game blind. P.S. Rogers, must kill. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, must acquire PDA. Cough, cough. Alright, so I'm going the right way, because they're chucking the guy back. Even though I literally just came in here, so... And now they're taking me back, so of course. It's not this way. It's weird, it's just this room, really. And I can jump in here, I can open. No. This is weird. So I guess I can go through here, because it's probably. Well. Whoa, gosh. Hello, Mr. Guy I've never really seen in a while. How you been? Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of weird. This LP, because I'm I'm there in the end, so I might. Whoa, gosh! I might I might give I'm not giving some. Holy crap! I just realized soul sphere on this guy. Whoa! Ah, oh, gosh! Challenge aboard aborted, not aborted, but aborted. Dude, when you make an item that does that, just think. Is it balanced? Dude, they got the candles! It's the candles! Oh crap, there's more candles! Crap! I just used my soul sphere. Ah! Whoa! Jeez! Someone jumped in my face. Oh, I killed the fireman. Fireman? Oh! Nothing bad's gonna happen. Strobe lighting. <laughs> to the lab. So yeah, basically the game is now just turned into a bit of a. I can't say it's 100% classic, but it's definitely become a lot more just. Shoot to kill kind of game, if you know what I mean. I was just going, whoa, gosh. I keep using up all my stamina, I keep holding down the shift button like I'm gonna run somewhere. Because that's how I play Doom. Yep. Well, you would. I know I've got the Soul Sphere, but save it for an enemy that's gonna kill me. That guy's not gonna kill me. That guy might kill me. But, uh, I'm not brain dead. Not provide that I am brain dead. But yeah, it's a kind of weird game. After playing Doom quite a bit. I played I played a lot of Doom because Doom was pretty classic. And there you go, that was the guy's PDA, I think. Doom was just a very classic game and it felt on the ball. Like it's not perfect. There you go. Chuck it! Chuck it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it. Yeah, you yeah. go. I was just going. <gasps> didn't get the health, but I got the health, and now I'm on pretty much full health. So that guy hit me. Whoa! Right. That guy deals a bit of damage actually. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't get PS Rogers. Got like something David. Soap, soap. We must keep progressing. I don't even have the security clothes on that guy. That door. Um, it, it's a it's a bit of a weird game, particularly because it doesn't really do as much as you'd expect from Doom. Yes, it has the horror aspect, but oh gosh, kind of falls a little bit short in doing so. Oh crap. No, no, don't trap me in here. Oh yeah. 
Actually, you know what? Stop that. Hey, when I can do it, I can do it. I'm doing this blunt. Sure, you killed them. What? You have the soul cube. Yeah. Just like in the carvings I've been researching. Yeah. If I'm correct, that cube is our only chance to stop this. Yeah. No time to explain now. You need to get to the caverns quickly. Take my PDA. Oh. It's right there on the desk. It's got security codes for the area. And my research logs on it. It'll help. I can't go with you. I need to finish my work here. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> and then he just, like, enemy comes up. Actually, he's okay, isn't he? Oh, cool. Oh, these guys came up. Yeah, I mean, especially since the Soul Cube, I thought it was a pretty challenging-ish experience. Uh, the game kind of got kind of challenging once that, uh, especially especially when you got to hell and stuff. And that that boss, the Guardian, he was a pretty good boss actually. And then like, what happened after that? It was like. get the soul cube suddenly you're able to kill any enemy in one go yeah yeah that's a good design isn't it oh snap Let's see you up there um that's what the flashlight I can see why people got annoyed with it but I'm not saying the game is designed around the flashlight that's the point it keeps this horror aspect by be being in the dark if in BFG edition, you can have the flash eye on all the time. What's the point of that? It just makes uh, it just makes a kind of kind of frustrating-ish game really frustrating. You know what? Actually, I would use the pistol more if I could hold the hold the pistol and the flashlight at the same time. If I could do that, then I would probably use the flashlight more, and I would probably use the pistol more, right? In fact, you don't use the flashlight that much now. You barely use it now. I remember they were, they were playing with dark environments and whatnot. Oh gosh, yeah. Why wouldn't they? They were playing with dark environments. They were doing some pretty cool stuff to light and dark. Now it's just kind of like, yeah, go through hallways, blast some enemies. I mean, yeah, it probably deserves an 8. The engine is pretty good. In, in fact, it's really good. Although, yeah, I know it's not the most efficient thing. It was definitely like super high end for its time. It's like the uh, Crisis Engine. Way too high end for its time. That's why. That's why it got released on Xbox. Because people were like, no, you need to release this on a. It was like you need to release this on a system that people can actually play on. Cause yeah. I mean, it's pretty good looking for 2004, just because. Likewise, Rage actually is a game that they actually turn down a lot of the settings by default, and in fact, they're hidden until unless you edit any files and whatnot. And is this the end of the map? Entrance entrance unlocked. Freight loader returning to station. Yeah, I can see that. Now I gotta manage to get down there, okay. I wish there were a bit more outside portions. That's why I like the hell part of this game. Oh, oh crap. I mean, yeah. Cause, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit repetitive. I mean, what did the original Doom do? Oh crap, 120 shotgun rounds, wow. That's the dark room, isn't it? Can I jump in there? Nope. Therefore, there must be a staircase somewhere that will just take me down. No. That works. So that, that is how you play with the dark. Yeah. 
Does it... Does the lift actually... No, the lift didn't go down. Sorry, sorry, the lift didn't go... The, the ladder didn't go down. Okay, well I guess we're going to maintenance, because that's probably where the thing was. Um, but yeah, like, I don't, I don't know, I just think the game didn't have as good of a power as it probably was building up to. What? You, you just trapped me in here? You don't even block off the lift? You make me go up here and it's like, nope. Also, oh, because the thing I was like right there. So, of course, it's just around the corner from here, isn't it? I do like some of their level design, though. The level design is good. It's all good. It's just that uh, there's a lot of repetition to the stage design, kind of, because they all look like space stations, because they are in space or on Mars. Dude, you can play. You're on Mars. You can play with the outdoorness. Quite a fair bit more than just, oh, you're dying, you're out of oxygen, you gotta go run. I guess it's over here, right? Yeah, they're chucking an enemy. Of course it's here. The game design's good in a, in a way. Not deal with that anymore, right? How do you get to the place? How do you, how do you get to the to the where am I going? To the freight loader, which will pretty much take me to the next map, and that's where I want to get to. I was kind of dragging this on a little bit because I was like. Sorry, I'm kind of thirsty-ish. For blood, no. no. Um, I don't know that though, yeah, I think it's a good game. As for BFG Edition, BFG Edition, bleh, BFG Edition, probably be good if you've never played Doom. You probably wouldn't, this game, the Doom 3 part, wouldn't be as good as it is. Yeah. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior. I mean, yeah, because some of the design elements aren't really there. You can still play the classic Doom and all, but if you really want to get into the spirit of Doom, I recommend just getting the the, the Doom games off Steam. Like, just buy them all separately. Still can't access that lift. I have absolutely no clue where I'm going. Holding down shift for no reason because I keep draining my energy. Garage, there you go. Also, I don't care. Get on the yellow submarine and go. Crap. That's the other hatch. Ow. How do you seal the hatch? Maybe that's a hatch. It's kind of freaking out. Wait, okay, come on. I'm right here. Why can't I just leave? Some of the puzzles, like especially that one, we had to stand on the box thing. Oh. That was a pretty cool puzzle, but... Oh. Yeah, it's a seal... Oh. Well, you know. Yeah. And off we go! Adventure! Whoa, Jesus. This thing is kind of fast. 
and it's led us to the caverns, which we will start next time on Doom 3. And in fact, this is probably the third last area of the game, actually, according to that list of maps. So I'll see you kids next time on Doom 3. We will play Doom 3.